everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about items on my gardening wish list. Now I know a lot of people are watching um, the, the Congress and things to see if that extra stimulus money uh, package passes through and I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of different uses for that extra money if they're able to uh, get it. I'm no different. I have a giant wish list, but it's for my garden. So today, I'm going to share that information with you, right here on Garden Jen's Journey. Okay, so like I mentioned, we have this stimulus package that's supposed to be passing through Congress where some people can get some extra money and uh, it's a nice chunk of money um, that will help people with bills and things like that. Um, for me, uh, we have three people in the home who would get that money so uh, our bills would be covered and I also would be able to get some items that are on my gardening wish list so I can add to my garden, enhance it, and make it where I can grow even more food. That is very exciting. For me, that is my number one wish item, is to be able to grow more food for my family and if possible share anything extra with others who are in need. So, uh, hearing about this extra stimulus package that might pass through Congress um, has given me time to really reflect on what it is that my garden needs to become better, able to produce more food in the small space that I have. Now, I will share a link up here um, of my tour that I did of the small homestead that we live on. And so we have to make every space that I grow food count. I do a lot of vertical gardening. As you see, I'm standing in front of one of my many arbor trellises that I have that are made with cattle panels. Now cattle panels are a little pricey when you first get going. Uh, to do one panel with the four T posts that I do for each, uh, each panel, it costs me around uh, $30 to $40 uh, to do one panel. And I have approximately 12 panels total so far in my garden area. So that adds up pretty quickly. And when you're on a tight budget, it takes a while to get done. This took us about five years to get the 12 in here. So naturally on my wish list is more cattle panels and the T-posts so we can grow a lot more vertical crops. Also on my wish list, is the materials to make raised beds. Um, we have a lot of different areas where we can put small container beds. We can't put an in-ground garden because of all the different obstacles we have in the way. But container beds cost money. You have to get the materials and then you have to get the additional soil to put in those containers. So those are the two biggest things that are on my wish list if the stimulus package comes through. Another thing we're looking at is getting a guard goose for our uh, flock of chickens. Something that can be out and about during the day when our dogs are inside that knows how to look up for the predators from the sky. We do have a resident eagle. We have a couple resident uh, red-tailed hawks. And we also have a great horned owl who's starting to make its way through here. So we do have a couple of predators that we got to worry about from the sky and getting a guard goose will help protect the flock from those types of predators. So that is another item that is on my wish list. So I am hoping that this stimulus package passes so we can add more to the garden, get it more productive and also protect our chickens a little bit better. What are you guys planning on doing if you guys get the extra stimulus money in your pockets? Do you have a garden you're going to be adding to? What other ways are you going to help yourselves become more self-sufficient? 
leave your uh, comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. I thank you so much for watching everybody and just following me along on the journey. And I hope that you are subscribed to the channel. That way you can keep up with what's going on here on my homestead. Thank you so much. And I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Bye-bye.